For practice at self-check 4.13 colors, we are asked to write a piece of code that reads a shorthand text description of a color and prints the longer equivalent. So we're going to take something like R, G, or B. These are our only options. We are going to use an else if, if, else if, and an else statement to go through these. And also if there is an incorrect output or an unknown color, we are going to print it out here. So we'll need an else statement to handle this. First thing that we need to do is create a scanner for user input. We'll use scanner, we'll call it scan, and we'll set it equal to new scanner, where we're taking system.input. After this, we will have a semicolon, and we want to prompt the user for what color they should enter. So we'll do this in a system.out.print statement. In here, we will have our print, what color do you want? After this, we need to store it in something. We will have string, and we'll call it answer, and set it equal to scan.next. This will get the next thing that the user inputs and stores it in answer. We need to compare this to R, G, B, and else. So we will have our if statement. First thing that we need to do is say answer.equals. We need to use a string method to compare this, and we're going to be comparing answer.equals if it is uppercase or lowercase. Also note, we need to make our program case insensitive so the user can type an uppercase or a lowercase. So we have if answer.equals, for the first thing we'll have b or if answer.equals and then we will have a lowercase b for blue. That way it's insensitive. In here we will then print out the color they have chosen. So we will have a system.out.print statement and in here we will have you have chosen and then the color which is blue then a period so this finishes off the part for our blue now we are going to look for our green so we'll have another else if statement we'll have else if answer dot equals uppercase g or lowercase g you have chosen green we're going to have the same thing here except for red we have an r here r here and they have chosen red after this, we need an else statement for invalid input, and inside of our else statement, we're going to have a system.out.print line. These could also be print lines, it doesn't really matter since there's no output afterwards. But we're going to have a system.out.print line, and then in here, we're going to say unknown color. And then to this, we are going to add the input that they use. So this will be answer right here. If we paste this in here, we can submit this and see so we have passed all eight tests. That means this is the correct code for this practice it self-check problem.